Hey y'all! I have, this is such a fun, exciting video for me because we are finally done with Satura. It's a long-awaited video brought to you by Courtney Lyons, a Diamond Zara girl's best friend. Okay, so I have it flipped over. Sorry, just a heads up. I know I sound awful. I actually ended up with bronchitis and a sinus infection, but I've been on like antibiotics and steroids, so I'm doing much better. Um, hopefully my voice lasts through the end of this and doesn't sound completely awful to you guys. But I will keep sipping water and hope I can get through. So I had it flipped over on its back for a couple of reasons. First off, we want to keep the suspense for the final reveal. And also, I don't know if you can see this right here. This like, gave me a kick off to my channel, completely unintentional. But when I first got this kit, it arrived pretty bent up. And as you can see, it really did like mostly go flat. Like over here, you can see there's a few places where it definitely still like that's kind of where it had gotten beat up before. Just a little bit. It really is not a big deal. You can't tell from the front, so I really don't care. Sorry, I am in that squeaky spot. So anyway, when I messaged Diamond Art Club, I was told to um, iron it. <laughs> and when I ironed it, um, it burnt a little bit. I did keep it on the lowest setting since then. I've heard that you can steam them. And I've also heard that if you put a towel over the top, it won't burn. So future reference, that's what I'll try. And then this got moved around a lot. So this is just me. Um, no big deal there. So it's kind of cool because it kind of gave me a little bit, like, it had a lot of views. Like, I did not mean to do that. I just was like, hey, let's do this tutorial of how to, you know, let's try out ironing this for the first time, right? <laughs> anyway, it got a ton of views because it was burnt. <laughs> it was wild. So let's go over the logbook really fast and let me get out the colors. You know what, should we her over first? Let's let her over first. We gotta, sh we gotta see her. Ready, and... Oh my gosh. This is so gorgeous and shiny. It's so crazy to have this one finished because I really did take my time with this and I didn't just focus on this one because I just... It was kind of my... I don't know, like my time this is really my zen one that i would work on just for the pure joy of it and so yeah so pretty i mean okay let's go over what it had so it did have the two ab's which is right here so um the one ab uh the number one right here is only in her eyes it's that fuchsia colored one there you go um and some people it's funny some people did not like her eyes i thought it did like an amazing reflection of what the actual artwork looked like because it's very like, sorry, squeaky spot. It's very dreamy. And I, I thought it was perfect. I loved all the colors in her eyes. And then we have the, um, the next AB, which was mostly in her hair. And let me just tell you, Kate, if you're listening, you did an amazing job with the specials in this kit. Oh my gosh. I just am so amazed the way that it is rendered in general and the way the specials are placed no matter what square i was doing i got a special in it somewhere and um i'm guessing you chose the colors too oh chef's kiss it's so perfect okay and then there also were these fairy dust there are four fairy dusts and one um electro diamond that Electro Diamond was incredible. It was so cool. You can see right here, if you've been following, you probably have seen a lot of it. It's just everywhere. And right here, I'm going to insert um, a video of me holding it up in the sunlight, because I usually film at night. So that I'll, I'll answer it right here. It's me holding it up in the sunlight. I'm, I'm in gym clothes, because we're about to go to the gym, so ignore that. And, um, my kids are taking the filming, so it's a little bit shaky, but, you know, <laughs> it's really cool to see the Electro Diamonds really shimmer in that sunlight. Oh, I absolutely love, this kit made me absolutely love um, Melted Metallic, or Electro or Metallic 
diamonds, same thing. They're metallic, but Diamond Art Club calls them electro. We also have the those four fairy dusts. So right here, you can see, here's some of the purple one right here. Right there. And fairy, I love the electro dust, or electros. I think fairy dust might still be my favorite, but I love having it in there. I really want to try one with iridescent, but it's not in many kits that I want to get, if that makes sense. Um, there's Oh, here's a big patch of the purple right here. Just so pretty. And then um, there is the, there's kind of like this, this yellow and this like um, neutral fairy dust. And it was very close to each other. Let me show you. Her hands especially was just chock full of them. Sorry, this is so hard to maneuver. I'm trying to bring it closer because can you see between her hands? There's that yellow fairy, du fairy dust and then the... Some kind of off-white fairy dust, cream colored. And then look at the electros in the, her belt. So pretty, or corset, I guess. Um, so then the other one was a little used a little more sparingly, but it's, it's especially right here. And this is my all-time favorite color I have ever worked with, ever. Ever. It is so, I mean, every single time I would do, go really slowly with that. And um, just place it down one at a time. Is this, uh, you can see this green right here. I wish I could get it in there better. Ugh, it's just, I wish you could see it in person. It was almost like a sea glass green. Oh, I bent it a bit there. Um, and it was, it was perfect. It was, a, it was pure bliss. Like it was, I have some left over um, and I got to figure out where I want to put that. Because it's going to be, like, really special to me. I wish Diamond Art Club would sell them. It's so pretty. Anyway. Yeah, gorgeous. I haven't even seen that in any unboxing for that color. And, guys, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I might buy this one again down the road. It was so wonderful to do. And just keep it in my stash until I'm ready to work with these colors again. Oh, just so pretty. Okay. Let's look at my book right here okay so I saw that I think it's diamond painting with the besties diamond painting with the besties she does where she saves one of each color in here in a baggie and puts it in her book her log book and I was like oh that's genius I love the idea so I grabbed that obviously in color proportion it doesn't work because where there might be a ton of these J's, which is like that one right there. And there was only like a few of the red ones. All right, keep having to stop and drink water. Um, so yeah, let's go over this. It is a square. It was 55.8 by 86 centimeters. My biggest canvas I've ever done by far. Um, my start date was December 9th. And then my end date was, <laughs> that was a horrible handwriting. Um, it was the 27th of February. So I didn't think I was going to get this done this month, but I just didn't want to work on anything else. Um, I seriously, when I started this kit back up again, brought it downstairs because I kind of have the two places I diamond paint. I brought it back downstairs and I was like, I just didn't have, I have some beautiful kits I'm working on right now. And I just couldn't enjoy them because I kept wanting to do Satura. And so I was like, oh, I wanted to savor it and keep it going for longer, but it's the only one I want to work on right now, and it's bringing me joy. So I did, and then I finished it, and I'm, like, sad. It's so bittersweet. I, like, I, I want it to do it again. Um, Post-review video, you'll see that. It'll come out is that tomorrow. That might be off. I think it's supposed to be tomorrow that I'm I'm bringing out, but that I think the second is Saturday. I don't know. Yeah, because it's the 29th. Um, this is my fifth finish of the year of 2024 and overall 14th. Like I said, I am new, guys. I have not done this for very long, and I am completely just sucked in. <laughs> um, trash. So if there was not much trash. Let's get that out, actually. This is, I know it looks kind of a lot because it's in here, but that's it. Like, whoops, getting everywhere. That's it for trash, which is really not much. And anyway, 
overall trash was not bad at all but you can see this one right here the one that you see most of the colors of right um that was oh gosh that was way harder to put back than i thought that was this symbol right here and it was a trashy mess <laughs> i'm not gonna lie that one oops sorry that one was a trashy mess and had so many pock marks in it. So that one was one that was a little bit rough. I don't know what happened with that batch with that color. But um, other than that, very, very little trash. And anyway, my kids are funny. They're going to be so excited to know I've done the post review finally on this. Because they love keeping the trash drills. They, they trade them like Pokemon cards. It's so funny. Um... So there's actually a few of them missing in here, especially if they were the fairy dust or specials, if there was a trash in there, which is very few. The kids pounced on them and they were trading them like, well, I'll trade you these two for this one. <laughs> it's so funny. So yeah, not very much trash at all, except for the one color. And it really like unbalanced the rest. Like there would be so much less trash if it weren't for that color. So, um, so overall, I hardly had to deal with trash. Um... I already talked about specials. It is resin. As you guys know, it's a diamond art club, so it's resin. It is the most incredible resin drills that I have ever worked with, and I'm sure most everybody will work with. Um, I did not do it for an event. I did not enhance it. It was perfectly enhanced as it was. I did not run out of drills. I didn't write that down yet. Um, the number of colors I never wrote down yet, but it is 71 colors. Um, poured glue. Um, I did want to talk about my favorite colors. So, like I said... This was my favorite fairy dust color, or just uh, specials color. I thought I'd like talk about specials. Can you see that okay? I don't know if it'll zoom in on it or focus on it enough. That, and it looks so much greener on camera. I'll have to see if I can fix that. It's very much just a beautiful sea glass minty green. Oh my gosh, those are so special to me. <laughs> Is that weird? Um, and then my next favorite color, I mean, my favorite color is probably always going to be a special. So I figured I'd talk about my favorite color that I worked with <coughs> that was not a special. And that would be, uh, I was kind of torn. I really like these K's right here. So I'm trying to see if you can see it okay. Which is beautiful because that's like my, I just love that color. Um, but my other favorite color that would not be a special would probably be, sorry, let me find it, it's one of these reds right here, let's see which one, okay, it was this red, it was so vibrant, it went in her eyes and her lips. And usually I wouldn't choose a red, but there was something about this watermelon red that was just so pretty. So that was my favorite color that was in there. Those are my favorite colors. Um, I did not run out of any drills. So here are all these right here. You can see I have plenty of all of them. Here, that might be a better indication. I don't even think I got close to thinking I was going to run out of any drills. Leftovers of these. Like, there's a ton of this one because there was a ton in there to begin with. But that's enough to like do a whole nother like, kit. <laughs> and then um, there was this. Okay, that's special. So there was this one I was a little bit skeptical about because you ended up using a lot by the end in her face. I was like, oh, I'm going to run out of that. But yeah, I have just barely enough. So as far as symbols go, um, for confusion wise, there was a couple that threw me a little bit. And I thought I wrote it down, but I don't see which one's... Okay. Usually I write it down so I don't forget. Oh, no. Okay, here it is. It's the only one. Everything else was, like, super clear. Didn't have to worry about it at all. But it was these two right here. They're both green. And while they look very different right here, when you got down on the canvas... I don't remember if I inserted or took a picture, <clears throat> but if I did, I'll insert it that um you, I, it did trip me up just a bit um but really it wasn't bad like that's nitpicking guys it was like i've seen kits way worse than this like that just tripped me up just a touch um but i bothered changing it nah it's fine it wasn't any big deal 
Um, but if there was anything that tripped me up, it was that one and Hartley. So it's not a big deal. All right, so glue. Glue was really good. I was a little bit worried about glue when I first got it because it looked like there were some spots that were thinner in some places. Did not even kind of run into a problem. It was pure perfection. Rendering, I talked about. Rendering was amazing. Um, gosh, the colors were so good. I love the eyes, but I know some people were funny about that one. Um, canvas, super soft, so plush to work with. Gosh, I keep I keep wanting to go try all these other diamond painting companies, and they're great. Trust me, they're they all have their like good things and not good things and I like that um some will be more realistic with the confetti than maybe Diamond Art Club would be but I just keep coming back to Diamond Art Club because it really is just I think it's um the principal diamond painter that calls it the Cadillac of canvases uh it really is and I keep wanting to go like spend my allotted money on these new companies, which I have been, but then I'm like, oh, but I want this new Diamond Art Club that came out because I know that it's going to be this quality. Ah, uh, it's just amazing. So, um, let's see, what else was there? Um, I do want to point out that when I did kit up, holy static, guys. Um, well, not only thinking about it, I don't think it's this one. No, Abstract Cat that I kitted up for my daughter was insane static. I was like about to pull my hair out. I would say about half of the drills on this one were staticky, but I'd noticed that like all of my the Diamond Art Club kits that we've been kitting up has have quite a bit of static. Um, I've been hearing both that <clears throat> it's static here. I can turn it this way too and kind of move it around so you guys can see it the other way as well. Um, but Static apparently is what I'm hearing. It can, it's, I've heard weather related. I've heard, um, it happens in the, in factory. So I don't know what the deal is. From what I'm hearing too, it's been getting worse and worse for everybody. So I don't know. Um, gosh, her eyes look amazing right here. Okay. Well, I'm trying to think of what else. Everything on this was just so good. There really, there's nothing to nitpick really about. Oh, I was going to say this is my favorite one by far. Oh, I guess I didn't really deal with any gapping. And I think I, I just need to try a bunch of different. There wasn't gapping, but then I did her face and there kind of was. And I tried to straighten so much. Let me, let's just get a look at her face. I tried to straighten a lot, and I still got a little bit of gapping. Can you see right up there by her forehead? I keep trying to fix that part, and I can't get it to fix all the way. I don't know if it's just the light color and just showing up more because it's the light color, or if there was a little bit of gapping in that area. I don't know. You guys tell me, especially since probably quite a few of you have been diamond painting longer than I have. So um, let me know about that. Is it just the lighter color? Um... I feel like my other canvas that I did that was square, uh, Fearless Familiar, didn't quite gap as much, and I was more of a newbie on that one. But this is not by any means like gap crazy. Just I didn't really expect to be to have as much gapping as I did like right here, um, and it could have been my placement. So I'm not sure. Once again, that's nitpicking because really it hardly gaps and it was just kind of a few areas that I was like is this me is it the lighter colors or is it like charting who knows so anyway <clears throat> well that's it for this one guys I couldn't tell you how many hours I did because I think that stresses me out trying to figure that out and let's do a pan over and yeah thanks for joining me that was a lot of fun I'm really sad this one's over but I'm also really happy to have it done and to be able to look at it in its full glory. Because let me tell you, just stepping back and looking at it, I'm just like, oh my gosh. Favorite kit by far. Absolute perfection. I mean, I obviously I nitpicked, but really nothing's going to be perfect. And this is as close to perfect as it could be. Incredible specials charting again. Kate, if you watch this, 
Wow, it's so good. Okay, guys, my voice is done for. I'm going to pan over and let you guys go. Thanks for watching. Check out that pan over right here. Don't miss it.